So if you see me in the same outfit for a couple of videos, I am recording multiple videos at once. Just a disclaimer for you out there, okay? Hey guys, and welcome back to Spoken Words. So on this video, I'm going to be talking about overthinking because we all do it. Some of us do it more than others, like me. I, I, for those of you who know me, I am a, I'm a deep thinker. Like I think a lot and I think deeply. I'm gonna share with you three tips on um, how to kind of combat overthinking or to, to not allow it to affect you basically because yeah overthinking can cause a lot of things and for me um i tend to carry a lot of things on my head in my in my mind um i'll be thinking about it and it'll be going i'll just be circling in my mind like it will just it won't be going anywhere just be circling in my mind so yeah how many of you guys um you know you just you've gone through a situation and something it may be a good one it may be a bad one it may be something that made you excited or maybe something that, that made you really sad or upset or hurt whatever it may be and you find yourself th thinking about it basically um whether it throughout that day or over a number of days and it can really especially when it's a negative um experience or situation it can really affect you mentally physically um and yeah so when you overthink i've got three tips so tip number one have a book where you write down all your thoughts whether it's ideas um situations that you've gone through um things for, goals for the future just have a book you can call it your book of thoughts your thought book whatever you want to call it however you want to decorate it or have a big or small you want it just make sure you have a book where you just write it down alternatively you can just use your phone and have a folder in your notes um, where you just put all the thoughts that come into your head whether good or bad and just have it so you should have it there i don't know how many of you guys know this tip but it's actually it's actually a really good tip um yeah so just have a book where you write it down and just constantly write write it down especially when you go to sleep which is where i find where i do the most thinking and my brain is the most active when i'm going to sleep and as soon as i wake up those are the the the, the times where my brain is like <laughs> yeah so that's where it's always good to have a book by your bed um so you, and a pen obviously to write it down with um and not your phone i do advise to have a book when you're going to bed and when you wake up and not your phone just because bright lights is gonna make it harder for you to go to sleep um yeah so a book is really good just to have all your thoughts down um and also date these things when you're writing it in the book because when you um when you're further along in life um, and you've grown and you've gone through the situation and you go back and you read through those things and you, you start to have an idea of what what you were thinking in those times and it kind of brings to light certain things for you and it really helps you as well and um, just to kind of um, pinpoint certain things and maybe even find the root of the problem um, as well so yeah dates and write them in a book number two for those of you who don't like writing, <laughs> especially when it's a long thing um, that you have to write, record, your, you have, everybody has a recording voice note recorder on their phone and if you don't, you can, you can buy, you, you can download one, you can download one. Um, if not on your phone, then on your laptop. Just find a way to record yourself, um, whether it's just voice, or if you want to do a video record, by all means go ahead, you might end up using it in the future. You never know. But yeah, record yourself um, when something is troubling you, when something is is just going on in your mind and it's something that you find is, is circling over and over and over again. Just record yourself um, saying that thing and just letting it out because I find that when you let it out, whether it's in a book, speaking or the third tip, which I'm going to um, stick around and I'll, t I'll tell you what the third tip is um, and that third tip and it just kind of helps you to just release it and the less that's in your mind the better let me just tell you that it's just it just free up the space your brain is like a computer when you have too much in there the slowness that is going to slow is going to be slowed if you get what I mean <laughs> so yeah um, record yourself and just you can keep it on I would just keep it on and then you can look look back on it later 
I don't know, I just actually enjoy like looking back at what I was thinking and the way that I was thinking and how I was thinking and how, you know, oh, that situation or thing may have affected me. I'm just, what's the word, reminiscent like that? I don't know what it is. But yeah, um, so that's the second tip. It's a, and the third tip is to have somebody that you trust, that you truly trust, and you know that isn't going to go and blabber their mouth out to anybody and everybody and be like, oh, never guess what what um, Grace Grace said to me. Um, but you didn't hear it from me, okay? So yeah. So basically, she said that this is. Do you want? Do you want to know? Do you want to know? Come, come a bit closer. Just somebody you know that isn't going to spill your guts to someone else spill their guts about your guts to someone else you get me yeah um and who will listen who will judge i know that's it's it's, it's easier said than done because you especially for people like me who you really want to tell somebody but it's finding the the ways to articulate your words and to just basically explain how you're feeling and what's going on in your mind um that's why i i like tip one and two um just record yourself or write it down um but you you do have to start getting used to talking about it because it's actually necessary because somebody because and um, someone else's um opinion about it or someone's view point of view viewpoint point of view someone's view <laughs> about it can really help you um understand or get through that situation a lot better so yeah i know it's hard it actually is hard to say the done especially when you know what you want to say and you are there with that person but now opening your mouth to actually say it is like it's hard it's like someone sealed your mouth closed and you can't do anything about it I know I've been there and in those days in those in those situations you really literally just have to force yourself to say even if it, it starts off with one word um, sad I, it might feel weird to you and the person listening but whatever it takes for you to get cough to start getting comfortable um, talking to that person yeah and sometimes you just got to to know that people aren't always going to get it but they can still offer some sound and good advice for you to help you in that situation they may say something that you and you, and you be like you don't get it though no but that, that's not what i mean though in those times you just kind of have to be patient and just listen to what they have to say um because you never know what they have to say it might still in some way help you I'm talking from experience, guys. I know what I'm talking about because I'm talking from experience. So yeah, um, yeah, like I was saying, if it, even if it's one word that you have to, that, that, or that's all you can say, just as long as you let them know that is uh, that you know I'm really struggling. Um, I don't know how to articulate my words. <laughs> I don't know how to explain what it is that I'm going through so if it's alright with you I might just sometimes just say one word just to kind of get the ball rolling or get me a little bit more comfortable with speaking not necessarily because I'm uncomfortable with you but just to be more comfortable with speaking those are the three three things that you can do but yeah let me know if you want a part two of if there's anything that you aren't sure about or even cars even if you have a question about the tips that i have just you know comment down below or email me um if you go to my about section on my youtube page uh, you know and go to the email address that you will have to make sure you say i am not a robot <laughs> and just email me whatever question that you may have and i'll be more than happy to um answer your questions um and if I don't answer your question, that really could just be I didn't see it or somehow it got lost in the in the in the many messages that I get per day. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for listening. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.